Hey guys, it's Mr B and welcome back to the Mr B Read series. This is the series where I read you some of my favourite picture books, funny voices and all. Today we're going to read a story about a very... I, f I forgot what it's about. Oh, it's about a forgetful cat called Mog. Mog, the forgetful cat. So, let's dive in, shall we? Mog. The Forgetful Cat, written and illustrated by Judith Kerr. Once, there was a cat called Mog, and she lived with a family called Thomas. Mog was nice, but not very clever. She didn't understand a lot of things, and a lot of other things she'd simply forget. She was a very forgetful cat. Sometimes she ate her supper, and then she forgot she had eaten it. Sometimes she thought of something in the middle of washing her leg. And then she forgot to wash the rest of it. Once she forgot that cats can't fly. But most of all, she forgot her cat flap. The cat flap led from the kitchen into the garden. Mog could go out and in again. It was her own little door. The garden always made Mog feel very excited. She smelled all the smells, she chased the birds, she climbed the trees, and she ran around and around with a big puffed up tail. And then she forgot the cat flap. She forgot that she had a cat flap. She wanted to go back in the house, but she couldn't remember how. In the end, she sat outside the kitchen window and meowed until someone would let her in. Meow, 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 meow. Afterwards, you could always tell where she had sat. This made Mr Thomas very sad. He said, Oh, bother that cat. But Debbie said, oh, she's nice. Once, Mog had a very bad day. Even the start of the day was bad. Mog was still asleep. Then Nicky picked her up. He hugged her and said, nice kitty. Mog said nothing, but she was not happy. Then it was breakfast time. Mog forgot that cats have milk for breakfast. She forgot that cats only have eggs as a treat. She ate an egg for her breakfast and Mrs Thomas said, oh, bother that cat. Debbie said, Nicky doesn't like eggs anyway. Mog looked through her cat flap. It was raining in the garden. Mog thought, hmm. Perhaps the sun is shining in the street. When the milkman came, she ran out. The milkman shut the door. The sun was not shining at all on the street. It was raining and a big dog came down the street. Mog ran. The dog ran too. Mog ran right to the house and the dog ran after her. She climbed over the fence and she ran through the garden and jumped up outside the kitchen window and she meowed a big meow, very sudden and very loud. Meow, meow, meow. Mrs Thomas said, oh, bother that cat. Debbie said, it wasn't her fault. Mog was very sleepy. She found a nice warm, soft place and went to sleep. She had a lovely dream. Mog dreamed that she had wings. She could fly everywhere. She could fly faster than the birds, even quite big birds. And suddenly, oh, she woke up. Mrs Thomas said, oh, bother that cat. Debbie said, oh, I think you look nicer without a hat. Debbie gave Mog her supper and Mog ate it all up. 
Then Debbie and Nicky went to bed. Mog had a little rest too. Mr Thomas wanted to see the boxing. Mr Thomas said, oh bother that cat! Mog thought, mm, nobody likes me. Then she thought, oh, Debbie likes me. Debbie's door was open. Debbie's bed was warm. Debbie's hair was soft, like kitten fur. Mog forgot that Debbie was not a kitten. Debbie had a strange dream. It was a bad dream. It was a dream all about a tiger. A tiger wanted to eat Debbie. He was licking her hair. Debbie shouted. Mog whoo, jumped. Mr and Mrs Thomas said, oh bother, bother, bother that cat. Debbie said nothing. She was still crying because of her bad dream. Mog ran out of the room and right through the house and out of her cat flat. She was very sad. The garden was dark. The house was dark too. <sighs> Mog sat in the dark and thought dark thoughts. She thought, <sighs> nobody likes me. They've all gone to bed. There's no one to let me in. And they haven't even given me my supper. Then she noticed something. The house was not quite dark. There was a, a little light moving about. She looked through the window and saw a man in the kitchen. Mug thought, oh, perhaps the man will let me in. Perhaps he will give me my supper. She meowed her biggest meow, very sudden and very loud. Meow, 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 meow. And the man was surprised. He dropped his bag and it made a big noise. And everyone in the house woke up. Mr Thomas ran down to the kitchen and shouted, Ah, a burglar! The burglar said, Oh, bother that cat! Mrs Thomas telephoned the police. Debbie let Mog in and Nicky hugged her. A policeman came and they told him what had happened. The policeman looked at Mog. He said, mm, what a remarkable cat you have. I've seen watchdogs, but I've never seen a watch cat. She should get a medal. Debbie said, I think she'd rather have an egg. Mog had a medal. She also had an egg every day for breakfast. Mr and Mrs Thomas told all their friends about her. They said, Mug is really remarkable. And they never, well almost never, said, bother that cat. The end. Hey guys, thank you for listening to my rendition of Mug the Forgetful Cat. Please support the official release. And just while we're here, I think we should all appreciate but during this scene in the book, the burglar also has a cup of tea. What a wonderful thing. Please tune in tomorrow for tomorrow's story and I'll see you next time. Take care.